Any conversation may be complex at times, which is why some of us get lost along the way or misunderstand each other. We need to be willing to cooperate and speak in socially approved manners so we can make a conversation successful and meaningful. When engaging in conversation, we can use some communicative strategies to start, maintain, and end it appropriately. In this video, we're going to talk about these strategies. Have you noticed the weather lately? It feels odd the past week. Yes, I did. The other day it was very humid, and just now, the sun is burning. The communicative strategy you saw was nomination. A speaker carries out nomination to collaboratively and productively establish a topic. Basically, when you employ this strategy, you try to open a topic with the people you are talking to. When beginning a topic in a conversation, specifically if it does not arise from a previous topic, you may start off with news inquiries and news announcements. You can also talk about life updates and such. What do you think about piracy? Yes, Ellen. Sa tingin ko po, ang piracy ay masama dahil... Ellen, please state your answer in English. Oh, sorry. I forgot about our English-only policy. Anyway, I think piracy is bad because it is... In that video, you saw restriction. Restriction in communication refers to any limitation you may have as a speaker. When communicating in the classroom, in a meeting, or while hanging out with your friends, you are typically given specific instructions that you must follow. These instructions confine you as a speaker and limit what you can say. Remember, always be on point and avoid side swiping from the topic during the conversation to avoid communication breakdown. Empathy is sharing and understanding the feelings of another. More importantly, expressing empathy means acknowledging the thoughts and emotions of the other person. Now, can we empathize with people outside our usual circle? Yes, Kaloy. Yes, Ms. Guzman. For example... When we listen to others' worldviews, we cultivate our views and understand where they are coming from. This way, we put ourselves in their shoes, aim to understand their perspective, and finally, use how we understand them as our guide to act appropriately. Here we saw turn-taking. Turn-taking pertains to the process by which people decide who takes the conversational floor because sometimes people are given unequal opportunities to talk. The key idea here in this strategy is to give all communicators a chance to speak. Try to be polite when trying to take the floor from another speaker. Do not talk incessantly without letting the other party air out their ideas. Acknowledge others by employing visual signals like a nod, a look, or a step back. Ask others what they think or if they want to say something. Today, we will discuss why mobile gaming inside a campus premises should be prohibited. We should, because last night, I lost my match and got so mad that I threw my phone out of my bedroom. I think we should only focus on gaming while inside the campus. We can't impose restrictions when students play elsewhere. Social media apps should be banned too. Um, some social media platforms are used for schoolwork. So let's focus on gaming first. OMG, please don't ban social media apps. My followers will be so sad. As I was saying, we're only going to discuss why we should prohibit mobile gaming. So, any input? Oh yeah! Did you know that a school conducted a study on banning mobile gaming? And they found out that this resulted in better academic scores. The test results of 16-year-old students improved by 6.4%. That's a good reason for prohibiting mobile gaming here, isn't it? Now there we saw topic control. Topic control is achieved cooperatively. When a topic is initiated, it should be collectively developed by avoiding unnecessary interruptions and topic shifts. You can make yourself actively involved in the conversation without overly dominating it by using minimal responses like yes 
okay, go on, or asking tag questions to clarify information briefly, like, it was unexpected, wasn't it? And even by laughing. My dear students, I want to inform you that through the scholarship, you will get a monthly stipend of 3,000 pesos. In addition, you will also get a book allowance of 2,000 pesos per year until you graduate. Miss Guzman, I have a question. Dina, what is it? Miss Guzman, according to someone I know who availed of the same scholarship, any scholar could have his or her scholarship forfeited at any time. Is this true? Let me make this clear. While I did say that the scholarship will last on your graduation, I'd also like to remind you that you have a grade to maintain and that you need to be on your best behavior at all times. Failure to do so will forfeit your scholarship. Ben, what do you want to ask? This is a bit unrelated, but I just wanted to know, what are the other scholarship programs that the school offers? We also offer scholarships to skilled athletes. Similarly, those who are exceptionally good at math and science get to enjoy at least a 75% discount on their tuition fees. We just saw topic shifting. Topic shifting, as the name suggests, involves moving from one topic to another. In other words, it is where one part of a conversation ends and where another begins. When shifting from one topic to another, you have to be very intuitive. Make sure that the previous topic was nurtured enough to generate adequate views. You may also use effective conversational transitions to indicate a shift like, by the way, which reminds me of, and the like. Dina, have you already finished our math assignment that's due tomorrow? Math assignment? I think we don't have any assignments in math. Oh, right. I meant statistics. Oh, yes. I worked on it last night. What themes have you identified from the story? I have identified the theme, love is conditional. I mean, love is unconditional. Why is Ellen absent today? Ellen? I mean Faye. Why is Faye absent today? Now that we have a research topic and some information about it, we should get a work on the blueprint. Uh, sorry, I can't remember the right term. What is the framework called again? The one that's a list of the main ideas and supporting details. You mean the outline? Yes, the outline. That's what I meant. We should get to work on the outline of our paper. So to occur, an aerobic respiration needs oxygen. Are you sure? I think you are referring to aerobic respiration. The strategy present there was repair. Repair is how speakers address the problems in speaking, listening, and comprehending that they may encounter in a conversation. Repair is the self-writing mechanism in any social interaction. If there is a problem in understanding, the conversation speakers will always try to address it and correct it. Always seek to initiate the repair. Ben, there you are, man. I have been looking everywhere for you. What's up? The basketball team said that we will have a practice session for the district meet starting next week. At what time will it begin? After class, around 5 p.m. Do you think practice will last until evening? I think so. The coach wants us to be- I have heard rumors that ghosts wander around the boys' comfort room at night. Have you heard about that? Hmm, no. Anyway, the coach said to meet him beside the stage for the warm-ups, as he wants us to be in the best shape for the meet. Alright, thanks for telling me, man. No problem. Well, I've got class. I'll see you around. Bye! Me too. Bye! The last video showed us termination. 
Termination refers to the close initiating expressions of the conversation participants that end a topic in a conversation. Most of the time, the topic initiator takes responsibility to signal the end of the discussion as well. Not all topics may have clear ends, but try to signal the end of the topic through concluding cues, sharing what you have learned from the conversation or soliciting agreement from the other participants, usually completes a discussion meaningfully. I'm sure you have long been employing these communicative strategies in your daily conversations, consciously or subconsciously. It's just that now we have official names for them. 